Hi there, and welcome to my channel. This is Gail with Shabby Cottage Studio. I have a journal that I just finished and wanted to share it. This journal is uh, a new a new venture for me. This is, I, I guess, a lot of people refer to them as naked journals, where the person who ends up with this journal has um, a lot of blank pages that they can decorate themselves and embellish. And uh, mine's, mine's, I'm calling it a semi-naked journal, and you'll see why in just a moment. I've included a lot of ephemera with this journal. So between the journal and all the ephemera I included, I decided that I needed a place to hold it all. So I made this pouch, and um, this is not going to be the last time I make one of these pouches. This is just, I love it. It's so cute, and it wasn't difficult to make at all. Um, it doesn't it doesn't fasten. There's no snap. There's no, um, there's no buttonhole. It just lays there. Um, you know, if someone wanted to wrap something around it to tie it off, you know, that's, they could certainly do that. I'm not, I just like it the way it is. It's just a nice, um, soft cotton fabric and it's lined on the inside. I did a, um, fabric collage with different scraps of fabric that I have and like I said I love the way it turned out so uh, let me open it and show you what's on the inside first of all it's got this nice floral liner on the inside and between this piece of fabric and the outer piece of fabric there is also a piece of I don't know if you can see it but there is um some canvas that lines the whole inner of the bag. This blue fabric goes doesn't go all the way to the end of the bag, but it goes most of the way. It really wasn't needed to, to line it from very top to very bottom. So anyway, let me pull things out. This is the journal that I created. And I just, I fell in love with this fabric and it kind of took off from there. And let me pull these out. Well, let me set these aside for a moment. This is all the ephemera. Oh, and by the way, this pouch itself is probably about 13 inches long and maybe about, I don't know, seven, seven and a half inches tall. So it's a, it's a nice size pouch. I just, I really like it. <laughs> anyway, to the journal. And let's turn it right side up. I've wrapped it with some polka dotted sari silk. I love dots and I love stripes and I love mixing them together. Therefore, you see a little patch of striped um, kind of a, I'm not sure what it is, a twill or a canvas fabric. And it wraps around the back of the journal. And of course, there's always strings where sari silk is concerned. So let's just take those off of there. And it wraps around the journal just like that. You know, I was, I had a plan for this journal. And like a lot of things, um, as you're working, things evolve. So sometimes what you, the idea that you start with in your head is not the final, the final cut when you get all done. And I had an image all picked out for this. And I had some fabrics I was going to layer under the image and um, just collage the front of this. But the more I played with it, the more I thought, I really didn't want to cover up this gorgeous fabric. I, I, it's kind of a upholstery weight fabric, and I just loved it. And actually, I used the backside of this fabric because either side's beautiful. So on the spine, I did use a piece of vintage lace, just for a little bit more interest to line the spine. And of course, this um, this striped red fabric. I've sewed that on. I sewed that on before I lined it. And up here, I actually took another edge of, I don't know if you can see it, but another edge of the fabric and put it underneath this edge because I liked, let me bring it up a little closer. I liked this double edge of um, fringe. So... 
that's where that came from. And when you open it, the inside is lined with the same fabric um, that I used on the cover. So you'll find a kind of a red theme occurring throughout this journal, kind of a red and blue and a few other colors. But I was trying to keep it not, I didn't want to go real, real colorful because I wanted whoever purchases this journal, I wanted them to have the fun of deciding what else to put in here. So let me go through this pretty quickly. Um, there's, there's just a few things to show you. So let's just get started. This right here is a fabric pocket and right here is another pocket. So you've got two pockets here. And when I was taught, when I mentioned um, a semi-naked journal, what I did was I, I, I'm not even sure how to describe it. I collaged some pages. I put a few pockets in. Now, I didn't get overly heavy like I like to. This, I, I'll tell you, this journal was hard for me because I just wanted to decorate each page like a crazy woman. But, um, you know, I tried to hold back. So I just did small little collage areas, you know, added a little bit of fabric added a few pockets, um, more as a, uh, hopefully a jumping off place for someone who gets this journal and wants to then do their own decoration. Um, maybe a little inspiration, if you will. So that's kind of where I'm coming from when I say semi-naked, because not all the pages are totally blank, but none of the pages are totally decorated. They just have little bits and bobs on them. S like this one, I just did, um, I just did a little collage with some paper here and did some sewing around the paper. Here we have another pocket and I just did a little collage of paper on top. Um, a little fabric swatch here and a little piece of um, old book page down here. Um, and this is just a, uh, a cardstock. I printed on cardstock. Tea stained paper here. And again, just, you know, quickly through, just, you'll see, just little bits, um, just little bits of uh, old text paper and some fabric here, uh, fabric on the edge here, blank paper, more blank paper, just a little, um, I stamped it with a little saying here, added that on. Um, this is the, just part of an uh, old vintage doily. I loved the color of that, kind of an aqua pale aqua green aqua blue um, a floral tab here I sewed on um, another piece of cardstock all of this I'm I've got most of these are tea stain papers and a little bit I've got some cardstock in here and um, just a few other papers like this is some music score paper that I stained and again, just uh, did some sewing on pages, used some stained, tea stained papers. This is an envelope. I did it as a flip. And this is a piece of canvas here just to strengthen this edge. There's a pocket here, which if you can see my fingers, um, so you can make a tag or whatever you want to slip inside there and fill that up and room to journal. Lots and lots of room to write and to decorate in this journal. And again, just um, some stained paper, some vintage um, sheet music. Here I've done a little um, collage of paper that I stamped. And then I did um, some media paste through a stencil here for some nice texture. Uh, just a little stencil there. Here's another little pocket. And did a little, a couple little hand stitches there. And uh, another cardstock, piece of cardstock, printed cardstock. Uh, fabric ruffle, another piece of cardstock. Um, this paper came for, out of an old photo album, and the photo album had been unused so I don't know how old this paper is but you can tell by the color it's been around for quite a while and what I did was it was a large 
photo album and so the papers were large but I just folded them up I left the op the end open so someone could glue that or hand sew it I guess or tape it um, to make a pocket out of it or you could leave it as an open-ended pocket so that would be up to whoever gets this journal um, just some masking tape down here this is this is a like a craft glassine bag. It's kind of glassine on the inside or waxy on the inside. And um, this, whoops, I forgot. I need to, I will, in fact, I'll do it right now. This right here needs to be trimmed. There we go. And now you've got a pocket. Both these are a pocket. Okay, another open-ended pocket there. It's more of that cardstock, that printed cardstock. This is a um, like a transparency I printed on. I don't know if I have it. Let me. I've got a little tag. This is a printed transparency that I printed on. So anything you put into it, you'll see behind the transparency. I just thought that was so beautiful. Um, a piece of old quilt as a tab here. I think this pattern's so pretty. Okay. Um, some old German, this came out of an old German textbook. Very, very old. You can see the printing on that. A little bit of washi tape. This is a little tuck spot here. More of the sheet music. A little ledger paper. This is just some lined paper. A little pocket here. Well, tuck spot, whatever you want to call it. Um, this I just stamped on some paper and added it to the edge of this stained paper. This is some of the fabric from the journal, and uh, I just put it on the edge of the paper there. Here is another pocket. Just a little cluster up there. Just a little, um, whoops, little collage of paper and fabric there. Did I miss a page? I don't think so. There we go. Um, just some fabric. This is an old, I think this is from an old curtain. It's not bark cloth, but it's very close to bark cloth. And then some vintage lace behind it. And then some stitching just for interest. And here I just collaged some um, handmade paper. I didn't make it. <laughs> um more of the other side of the cardstock, and then the back page. This is I fussy cut from some wrapping paper, gift wrap paper. And I just thought this a beautiful design and I thought it went really well with the, um, with the colors of the lining here. And then here's just a lace pocket. And then this is also a little pocket. So that's basically it for the journal. So as I said, it's um, semi-naked. It's not totally naked. Just wrap this around, and then I just tucked it in like that. Then I've got the um, ephemera I'm including. And I've got quite a bit here, I think. Just looking to make sure I got it all. Um, 
There's a writing board, a laminated writing board to use in the journal. So you can slip it under a page. I don't, if you're not familiar with the writing board, let me reopen this. You can just take this and you slip it under a sheet and then it gives you a nice hard surface to actually write on. So I think these are just really, really nice. Okay, move that out of the way. So that's that. Oh, where do I start? Okay. Um, I had to put these all in paper ba uh, plastic bags to keep them from falling all over the place. I'll just kind of um, go over what's in each little stack here as quickly as I can. There's just some... Let me see if I can... Okay, I had to move the camera in a little closer. <laughs> I accidentally turned it off. So that's what happens when you don't have nice small fingers. So anyway, I um, I just stamped a couple sayings on some um, like craft paper. I've included some pockets, some pre-made pockets, um, different kinds of pockets. That is actually a pocket there. There we go. There's a large tag. This, I love this. This started out as just an envelope I was going to include. This does have a magnet in it. So it keeps it closed nicely. And I just used some more of the fabric that's already in the journal to do a little collage here. And um, a label and a piece of fabric here. I added some stained uh, scrim, or um, some of you, um, scrim is very similar to cheesecloth. It's just the holes are, I think, are smaller. It's I've got a lot of it, so that's what I use instead of cheesecloth. Again, some more of this polka dot. I love this polka dot of fabric, and it has been tea stained. But what I ended up doing was, whoops, magnet, a um, little collaging inside with some washi tape, little saying over here and then I included I added this um, little I don't know notepad mini journal whatever you want to call it so I just thought that turned out really cute so I really like that I'm going to do more of those you know if you really like something you just want to you just want to make them Okay, let's see. Um, I've got some little doilies that I punched. Uh, one of the uh, translation foreign cards. Uh, I think this is Italian. And uh, I forgot what you call these. It's a playing card, but it's some. it's got a number on it. I don't know. Looks like a playing card. I've had it. Uh, this is just like a little journal card. Another little journal card, journal card, uh, guest check. These are authentic ephemera. Um, I think most of these are French. French, this is, a, I think, a check. I think it's a check. Sheet music, um, textbook, 1807. A giant, um, I would say a giant tag, but it could also be a large journal card. It's whatever somebody wants to make of it. And then this is um, a letter from Paris, France. And if I knew what it said, and I, I knew how to read French, I would tell you what it said. But I don't, so I won't. But authentic, um, 1925. So, all of those are in the package. Let me make some room here. Let's see what else have we got. Tags. I'm adding... Um, so, I'm adding some small tags, some regular size tags, and then I'm adding... Um, all of these have been cut 
just different uh, images, digital images that I printed. And they could be, um, you know, trimmed to make tags or, again, journal cards. Um, then I included, uh, like, a collage, already collage card, um, another basically finished tag. Card, it's a tag. <laughs> and, again, just some more tag shapes that somebody can play with and decorate as they will. Then I've got some images I'm including, different sizes. Um, I just think these are all so pretty. got some different ephemera here. I've got a stack of stamps. Um, these are all different kinds of labels. Some blank, some not so blank. These are some stickers. Um, more labels. Again, some blank, not so blank. Um, there are some, uh, there's some authentic ephemera in here. Like this one. Look at how tiny that is. Can I get it focused? There we go. And this one. <laughs> and um, these. Then I have tickets. Now some of these are authentic tickets and some I have printed myself. Like these I have printed myself. And um, these are authentic. These are not. These I've printed myself. So we've got a torn ticket. I need to replace that. I've got another one. I will use that in my collage scraps. So I will replace that ticket. Okay. So, oh, and here's some more. Here's another ticket. So that's those. And one more package. What have I got in here? I've got some fabrics and some laces. Just a few. I've got um, these vintage laces. Whoops. I've got to remember to stay in frame here, don't I? These. And I think there's probably a, I don't know, a yard. At least There's at least a yard on each one. This one looks like it might actually be two yards. I don't remember. This is um, a doily that I die cut out of a piece of fabric. It was an old curtain. And um, when I initially started working on this journal, again, along with this image, um, this, this doily came from the colors that were in the birds. Now, I'm assuming that's a goose. Those are ducks, and that must be a goose. Or is it a swan? I don't know. You tell me. Is it a goose or is it a swan? But anyway, that's um, that's where that came from. Some of the polka dot fabric. And then just some plain... Uh, and these are just uh, small pieces, you know, just small. This has been stained. Um, some pieces with red in them. 
and some blue, some scrim that I, I dyed it blue. And then this is a brown, feels and looks like velvet, but I do not believe it's real velvet. So anyway, that's it. That's all that comes with this journal. In this pouch and I am not going to try and put all of that ephemera back together right now that will come later so <laughs> uh, this talking on the videos is really hard guys you stumble and bumble and just hope you don't sound like an idiot and uh, that's why usually you just see me doing a flip through to music but, you know, I'm going to try to do more. The other thing is, I don't want to bore people. Sometimes, um, you know, they just want to get to the meat. They don't, they don't care about all of the, all of the excess <laughs> that we want to talk about and explain. Some people love it and some people don't. So I just feel like it's a fine line. You're never sure which way to balance. But anyway, I want to say thank you to Every single one of you who have subscribed to my little channel, you um, you have warmed my heart like you will never believe. And I appreciate each subscriber. I really do. You guys are the bomb. So thanks. I'll see you soon. I hope you have a great day wherever you are and whatever you're doing. And stay creative. Bye.